Welcome back to the Afrocentric Mindscape channel, fellow African history enthusiasts. Today we delve into the complex life and legacy of one of Africa's most enigmatic figures, Muammar Gaddafi. This Libyan leader left an indelible mark on his nation and the African continent as a whole. Join us as we explore the rise, rule and ultimate downfall of Colonel Muammar Gaddafi. Our story begins in the mid 20th century as Libya was emerging from colonial rule. Gaddafi, born in 1942, came from humble beginnings but was destined for greatness. In 1969, at age just 27, he led a group of military officers in a bloodless coup that ousted King Idris I. Gaddafi assumed power and proclaimed Libya the great socialist people's Libyan Arab Jamahiria. Gaddafi was known for his eccentric personality and his unique political philosophy known as Jamahiria, which aimed to establish direct rule by the people through a system of popular committees. He espoused Arab nationalism and Pan-Africanism, advocating for African unity and self-reliance. Gaddafi also pursued an ideology of Islamic socialism, nationalizing many industries and redistributing wealth to the Libyan population. While Gaddafi gained popularity for his anti-imperialist stance and support for various American liberation movements, his rule was marked by controversy. He clamped down on dissent and his regime was accused of human rights abuses. The 1988 bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland resulted in international isolation and sanctions on Libya. Gaddafi's influence extended far beyond Libya's borders. He played a pivotal role in the formation of the African Union in 2001, advocating for greater African unity and the establishment of a single currency. He also used Libya's oil wealth to fund infrastructure projects in several African nations. Gaddafi's rule came to a violent end in 2011 during the Arab Spring. The West played a role in Gaddafi's death. In 2011, during the Arab String uprising in Libya, a coalition of Western countries including the United States, the United Kingdom, France and others intervened militarily in support of Libyan rebels who were seeking to overthrow Gaddafi's regime. The United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 1973 which authorized all necessary measures to protect civilians in Libya. This resolution was used as the basis for a NATO-led military operation. Western countries provided airstrikes, logistical support and other assistance to the Libyan rebels. During this conflict, Gaddafi's convoy was targeted by a NATO airstrike on October 20, 2011, near his hometown of Sirte. He was captured alive by rebel forces and subsequently killed, leading to significant controversy and debate about whether this was an extrajudicial killing or not. The circumstances surrounding Gaddafi's death remain a subject of international scrutiny, controversy and debate as of today. Gaddafi left a polarizing legacy. Some view him as a revolutionary leader who challenged Western imperialism and contributed to African unity, while others condemn him for his authoritarian rule and alleged human rights abuses. Libya, once one of Africa's wealthiest nations, has since struggled with instability and conflict.
Gaddafi's life is a testament to the complexities of leadership in the modern era. His vision for Libya and Africa will continue to be a subject of debate amongst historians and political analysts. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and legacy of Gaddafi. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more fascinating insights into African history. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the present. Bye for now.